Look, madam. Your papers stay right here. You. Then again, I seem to be a lot less picky with stuff than uh, other people, I guess, at times. Like, I know I complain about stuff a lot, but I usually don't hold it against the game too much. Sometimes, I like Dima's Memories, I'm holding that against Fallout 4 forever. Fuck Dima's Memories. But most of the time, you know, I complain, I whine, but I don't let it stick with me too hard. What the hell's going on Just here? Just a little farther. I want to make sure I wasn't followed. Didn't even look like the same woman at first. Alright, whatever. I think it is safe for us to talk here. Finally, together we can make Vlasta pay. Vlasta, your husband. What's this about exactly? You said you have information. Smuggling. Weapons. Drugs. Horse. You name it, darling. All of it is heading east. I have the address of the locker where everything is stored. And I have the code to get in. You will see for yourself, and then you will do what you think is best. You want me to shut down your husband's smuggling operation? Why? I agreed to sell out my husband in exchange for a new life. Vince and I were still negotiating the details. You are looking for Vince, trying to pick up his trail. I guess I am negotiating with you now. All right, now I guess we can ask stuff. Do I really want to? I really want to ask for stuff. Let's see. What do I need to know about your husband? All the sneaking around. How much danger do you think you're in? Uh, some of this stuff seems kind of interesting. What else do I need to know about your husband? Lester is like all young Diwali. You cannot argue with them. You cannot intimidate them. You cannot appeal to their heart. All he cares about is delivering on time. And chasing after women who are not his wife. Is that why you want to get back at him? Because of something he's done to you? I... I have no illusions about who I married. I know he was... ambitious. Eager to please the wrong kinds of men. But I didn't think he would turn into this... this monster. I want him to test failure. To have to walk home with his tail between his legs. If I get involved in this, there's a chance he might not walk home at all. What you do with the information I sell you is up to you. All I care about now is starting over. Yeah, I can do anything I want, apparently. I sneezed during that cutscene, now I'm like super sniffly. This sucks. I'm sneaking around, exposing your husband's I'm gonna criminal sneeze activities. Again too. How much danger do you think you're in? I don't know. I was scared waiting inside that damn club. Paranoid. But I think the worst is over. I'll be out of Prague within the hour, and he'll never see me again. Assuming you can pay, of course. All right, well, let's negotiate for right, this, this information. information you have, how much do you want for it? The price of a ticket to Berlin, with enough left over to start my new life. That is what Vince and I had agreed. They say Berlin is a good city for those wanting to be lost. Uh, I can pay her 350 credits, or I have the train ticket already. I can refuse. 350 credits is, like, garbage at this point. Like, that's, like, nothing at all. Like, if this had been in the very beginning of the game... You know, they gave me they gave me that bullshit in the beginning of the game where... You had to get, like, uh, a permit or whatever. And that guy said it was gonna be 35,000 credits. And that was some bullshit, but... Now this is a lot easier. I already have the train tickets, so I think I'll keep Here. my credits. The ticket's already been bought. Open-ended. You leave when you want. All right. Thank you. My husband owns a storage locker next to the Palisade Bank. The code is 2565. It is the centerpiece of his operation. I hope you find what you're looking for. All right, well, there you go. That's it. Good luck uh, with your life, lady. Hopefully you're not dead. Who knows what bad things could possibly happen to you. Oh, look at all this fucking... Oh, all this shit. There's a bunch of neon back here. It's just a pile of neon. Alright, so let's see. I have to read the map. Here we go. What is this? I'm sorry, I'm a little bit sniffly now, because I... And that one sneeze, like, fucked me up, so... 
If you hear me sniffling a little bit, I'm sorry. What's on this receipt? Got a platinum ring for like 655 credits. Is that what that is? An adjustment, some settings. Yeah, something costs 751 credits there. Some jewelry. There's a map. 2565. Probably not going to fucking remember this, but, you know, whatever. Dobromila scribbled the location... I said that really weird. Scribbled the location of her husband's smuggling operation on the back of an old receipt. Looks like it's not far from Palisade Bank. And the code to get in is 2565, so... Let's head over there and see what we can find. Tamara, that Diwali op Vince was digging into. I've got the address of a smuggling locker he was looking for. Huh, maybe he's still looking. Or maybe he found it some other way. This information, you... came by it how, exactly? The informant Vince was supposed to meet. She agreed to work with me instead. That doesn't surprise me. You're good at gaining people's trust, Adam. It's a rare skill. Point is, I got a lead. I'll let you know what I find. Alright, let's go. Where are we going? We're going up there. I wonder if I could go into the Palisade Bank and get, uh... I think it was Miller. Good old Jimmy Miller. I think he had uh, an account that was closed there, right? I really don't feel like going in and sneaking in and doing it, though. But maybe since I'm nearby the building anyway, I can go in and see if they'll give me access to it. Which they probably won't. I'll probably have to, like, sneak in and get to it. Which, if that's the case, I really don't care. That's probably the case, and I probably... Look, it's the same people again on the train. I'm just sneezing all over the place now. This sucks. Man, I hope I'm not getting a cold. That would, that would really suck. That'd be like the worst thing. But we'll see. Uh, how am I even going to get over here? Oh, uh, let's see the map. Uh, I have to get over there. Wouldn't I have to, like, go around this place? Uh, apparently it's right here. Alright, let me go ahead and save. Been a little bit. Been a little bit since we had a safety save. I wonder what's in this one. Apparently I can open up both of these, so. Yeah, there's a secret door, like, right here. I don't know who's, uh, I don't know if he has both of these. What the hell's going on here? Bunch of neuropazine. Multi-tool hacking stuff. Looks like there's a bunch of like arm guys down there. Revolver. I guess I'll take the revolver and sell it. I wonder if this was Miller's stuff. I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, it seems like maybe that was about it. There wasn't anything crazy in here. Whatever. I mostly came for this shit, right? There's a hidden door here. Yeah, here we go. There's a hidden door here. Oh, what is going on down here? Hello, what are you doing here? What are you doing in here? Who are you? Who are you? What are you doing here? If Vlasta sees you, he'll... Waiting alone was part of the deal. Vlasta, huh? What kind of deal? Why are you locked up in here? I don't know who you are or what you want, but me getting out of here is non-negotiable. You need to leave. I got a tip about a Diwali smuggling operation being run through here. One that may or may not involve someone I'm looking for. And headed by your friend, Vlasta. <laughs> Vlasta is not my friend. He's... He's a necessary evil. 
Are you some kind of cop? I know all about cops. The ones I met in Golem were very good at introducing themselves. I'm not like them. Look, I'm not from here. My name is Olivier. Five months ago, I was pulled from a train. I didn't have a ticket. They checked my name and saw that in university, years ago, I was part of a radical group. Fifty students, we were nothing. But it is enough for them to drag me into Golem. Since then, I have spent every minute of every day trying to get out. And now that I'm close, you are not going to ruin it for me. You're paying the Diwalis to be their cargo. There's got to be better ways of getting out of Prague. Not legal ones. Not for me. Vlast has my best shot of getting past the checkpoints. I got the rest of the money and now he's going to get me all the way to Rabia. I am not going back to Golem. Do you have any idea how bad it is? Yeah, I've been there. Acknowledge or mitigate. Let's see. I saw segregation, oppression, crime, saw courage. Uh, let's see. All right, I guess I would acknowledge Golem it. Golem was hell. It is hell. I understand doing whatever it takes to get as far away as possible. If you believe that, then you have to leave. I promised Vince I would follow the rules. If Lester finds you here, he'll get paranoid and call off our deal. And then he'll call Vince. Vince? Vince Black? What's his role in all of this? He's the one I had to pay to get to Vlaster. Oh, you had so to he's pay working where? with him. When's the last time you saw him? Two days ago, in the basement of a convenience store in Davni Obvut. It was not far from the gates. That, that is all I know. Please, this is my ticket now. Do you understand? Promise me. Let's see. I can dispute. I don't know what to do with her. I feel bad for her, but, you know, I got my own shit to do, right? I didn't come here to get in your way. I came here to find out what happened to Vince Black. What else can you tell me? You can't ask me to ignore a Diwali smuggling ring. They're moving weapons around. Helping to arm God knows who. Yeah. I mean, I feel bad, but, like, these guys are assholes, so... I don't know. She wouldn't be too happy if I disputed it. Because she seems to be all about herself right now, because she's in a really bad position. Wants to get the hell out, which is understandable. But guess what? I got my own shit to do, so... That's question. I came here to find out what happened to Vince Black. What else can you tell me about your dealings with him? You pay these cops in Golem a lot of money, and they get you to Vince's apartment. Then you pay Vince. Then Blaster comes to pick up the cargo, so then you pay Blaster. Blaster and Vince, they had some kind of fight about money, about the location of this place. Blaster's men blindfolded me and brought me here and told me to wait. It's Blaster. Look, nothing you do here can change the fact that the Diwalis move contraband through the city. It's what they do. It's something they'll always find a way to do. You stop this truck and others will still make it out. The only difference is that on, I won't be on any of them. I need to meet Katka at the club by nine. Oh, hey, buddy. What's going on? Katka might have to wait. Who sent you? Let's see. Press for information. Dismantle the operation. Negotiate pass. Let's see. I'm just here to see my friend off. Make sure she's in good hands. I don't know what to do. <laughs> like, I want to be nice to her, but at the same time, they're running a smuggling operation. They're pretty much assholes. This guy has a gun pointed at me. Like, his finger is pretty much on the trigger, ready to go. He's an asshole. <sighs> you know, what do I do? I guess I'll just negotiate past. I, I, it's either one of these two. That's what I'm kind of feeling. But I don't know what to do. I'm not sure. But I'm just going to disband. So fuck everybody. Shut you down. Your days of moving illegal merchandise are over. Lester, please. I don't know him. I hear heard enough. You're a dead man. All right, whatever. Just walk up and stab him. There you go. Did I do the right thing? Who knows? Oh shit. Well, I mean, at least she's still alive, but things aren't going to end too well for her. I'm sick of being nice to everyone. Fuck everybody. 
Oh, I can't even talk to her anymore. That's too bad. Well, good luck to her to getting out of Prague, but I've got a smuggling operation that needs to be stopped here. Terrifying.